what I wanted to talk about was this thing because I know there have been people who are like, "What?" Dane keeps wanting to talk about something. It's like he's got something bottled up inside of him. Haven't just addressed wants to get out yet. of his chest. And somebody's Say like, it. "Oh, was that just the Dane eats thing?" It's like, no, there's something else. It's super exciting. I was the most excited I've been for any project thing, and it's kind of what the title of this whole podcast is kind of alluding well, Dane, to. Spit it out. What is it? We're going to do a cheap car challenge. What? What? Yeah. What? Yeah, we're going to do a cheap car challenge. And it's not just one car. It's three cars. Can three I get one, cars? I get one. You get one. How we cheap find... are we talking? So here's the fun thing. We've been working out the rules for like several months. We've been planning this for a while. We have been. But okay. uh, I want to give credit, special credit to Nick, Gabe, myself, for helping <laughs> kind of hone the idea. And then we brought it to you guys, and you guys helped us hone it more. But it was just something cool that I think is going to get everybody really energized around here because I know people are like, the Subaru Project, what comes next after Yeah, that? Maybe even simultaneously running at the same time could be the case. But the rules here are it's got to be $3,000 or less purchase price. And the rule that mm. I thought would make it interesting is whatever the difference is, right? Whatever the difference below Three thousand. Just a three thousand dollar budget. So if you buy a car that. for twenty five hundred bucks, that gives you five hundred bucks that you can modify it with, or wow. buy repair parts. So it's modification or repair budget. So okay. you're limited. So strategically, you want to find a car that you can talk down on price enough to be able to fix it if you need to, or find something that you know is just underpriced right now, and mm. you can get more value out of it by simply cleaning it up. Well, There's the, a lot of strategy. But involved. quick question though, right? But I'm guessing that budget has to do with are the detailing products that we're going to spend money on to be able to detail this. So here's the other fun thing. Oh. The detailing products, because, of course, naturally, we are a channel that involves a lot of detailing. Mm -hmm. There is going to be detailing involved because that's going to help us get our final you know, sale values, whatever those happen to be. They are separate from oh, the purchase good. price. So Ooh, this, yeah. way, this way, we're going to make it fair so everybody gets the same budget. I believe we talked $150. Yeah, I think $150 that we get to spend at the rag company. Yes. Not using our employee discount. Well, jokes Correct. on you guys. I'm buying be... Legend and I'm beating so, all of you guys. So here's here's the thing, guys. So <laughs> you can tell budget. I'm yeah. like really excited about this because this is super fun. Um, the way it'll work we is we towels. will purchase products <laughs> off of the rag company website <laughs> The same way any of you guys would be able to. So anybody could go yeah. out there and replicate I'm what gonna we're eat, gonna, I'm gonna do. Find a fifteen percent off uh, uh, Grand Ambassador coupon. Yeah, technically code. they I'm could use a Grand Ambassador. Also going code. to do that as well. I'm gonna wait till the twenty percent. So they happens. should use <laughs> Grand Ambassador uh, code, so they could actually get more than we even necessarily could. But we're trying to make this like very fair, just yeah. buying the way you'd normally buy. Yeah, but if we're you gonna didn't know we'll, any we're gonna film that stuff. so you guys can see. Basically, you'll the see. Process. You'll yeah. see basically what cars we get. You'll see. What products we decide to choose based mm -hmm. on each vehicle? What because we're gonna it's going to change it's gonna be based on what your specific car's needs the are. The other thing is, you're going to get to see our skills <laughs> in use. Yeah, you're these guys are detailers. I'm the not. master of shine. Flex his <laughs> muscles with uh, with the paint, mm -hmm. with the uh, hopefully leather interior. Wow, and uh, all those wonderful mechanical bits that I'm so good at fixing on my own. Oh, yeah. Anthony, you're going to get to see all the magic that you get to put into some of the vehicles, similar to like your Civic. Yeah. You bought that for how much money? $1,500, Levi. Killer deal. Can you imagine $1,500, one of those, and then another $1,500 to throw down onto it, plus $150 from the rag company? Levi, I, I think that that was an anomaly. I, I've been trying to find a $1,500 <laughs> Civic again, and I don't think it's going to happen. So I don't know what I'm going to get into. For me, I and feel they, like my skill set is finding unusual and obscure cars that are worth more than they're being listed for automatically. I hope so. so. I, I hope that's little gonna, bit. We're going to find out. I will say, I had like... An ideal one lined Did up, you? and I got screwed out of what it. What was it? It was about a month ago. Yeah. I found an MGB, a 1974 MGB, oh. uh, listed. Well, it was probably an ugly color, on Facebook though, right? Marketplace. No, it was British racing green. It was Holy the perfect smokes. color. Mm. It had the perfect interior. Like, yes, it was a little bit dusty, a little dirty, but the guy used it as a daily driver, so it actually ran well. And best of all, it had next to no rust. Like there was just a little pocket of surface rust on one of the exterior mm. panels. But it said the underside was totally clean, which is rare for those yeah. cars. Mm. So I knew he was asking 3000 I talked him down to 2500 I was going to get it. And then he had a family emergency and he had to leave town. Okay. And he came back and he told me, message me on the 15th, which is what I did this last mm -hmm. week. And then he told me, he apologized. He traded it for Ducati Monster. <laughs> 
I don't blame him. So I mean, I missed out. I don't blame him. The problem was the guy lived in Oregon, yeah. so the car was seven hours away, six hours away. Well, from and that's here. the other thing we said. If we got to travel, that's coming out of that your comes budget. Out of your, that comes out, out of your three, car budget. Your it, choice. Well, it comes out of the budget regardless. Is what we decided. One way or another. Yeah, it comes out of the budget because it can't be. It's got to be accounted for. Can I just sell myself my Dodge Ram 1500 that I got no. for free and then sell it? <laughs> that's <laughs> not because it's it that's in not Katie's how name. this is going to work. Sell it it is in Katie's name too. So. so we will say the hardest part about this right now is the used car market, especially the very like lower end cheap used car market, it's, it's is nuts right now. It's there are high. cars yeah. that a year ago, two years ago, they would go from maybe 500 to 1500 bucks. Those are going for 3000 or more in some cases yeah, now. Yeah. So the stuff we would have been able to pick in the past that we we set, because some people will be like, oh, cheap car challenge, 3000 is kind of a lot for a cheap yeah, car challenge. Yeah, I was going through last night. It's not uh, oh, It's, not it's slim pickets because here are some of the other rules. I'm thinking the car, I'm going to have to buy a truck bed trailer. The rules we yeah. impose because <laughs> it picks it up itself. <laughs> part, part of the deal was we got to impose one rule that applied to Ooh. everybody, and we got to choose what those rules were. It could be anything, but we also wanted to keep it fun. So there yeah. were some rules we came up with that would have been really mean, but we didn't do them because I was going to say something like no front-wheel drive cars, which would just yeah. eliminate all of Anthony's fun civic With Slim Pickens, we can't eliminate We have some rules, but they are rules that we can still realistically but play. But we we 20 on, years old. What we settled on was a 20-year rule. Mm-hmm. So we did that one. Which one of you guys did the 20-year rule? I, I think I did. I said okay. it needs to be 20 so years old. So basically the car has to be at least 20 years old, which means <clears throat> nothing made after 2001, essentially. Uh, and then, oh. We, oh, there it is. Yes. So we got the $3,000 purchase price, whatever the difference is, that is your repair budget and or. Those are, yeah. that's the, like those are the main challenge rules. So $3,000 purchase price, which is budget, everything. Each builder will get a camera operator, but we cannot use Jimmy. <laughs> we have $150 detailing products from the website. Which no will show. No major mechanical issues, meaning it must run It at has purchase. to start and run yep. when we find it. It can't be something that's yep. a non-runner and, oh, it swapped out a part. And now it's perfect. Yep. And now it's worth $10,000. No, we don't get to do that. Yep. I know that's a thing some flippers do, but yeah. not the and case And then the here. winner equals the biggest profit over $3,000 because we have 60 days to fix these up and sell them. So if yeah. I sell my car for thirty five hundred, Anthony sells his for thirty six hundred, and you sell yours for four, you get to keep that profit over three thousand dollars. So you right. get your thousand bucks. Then we've added extra rules. Yes. So we've added rules ten, five, and eight. Number ten: the car must be less than must or older, older than, than twenty years. years old. Yeah. Then it has to run what you brung, meaning if your car breaks. <laughs> You don't get to trade it out you for a different car. You don't get to trade car. it out for different. You have to part it out and hopefully try and sell it or In sell it. In future competitions, you might be able to. That that rule yep. is and then for number this eight, particular round. There is a hundred and fifty dollar bonus that comes out of the opposing losers' uh, profits <laughs> that goes to the winner <laughs> if <laughs> you picked a smoker smoker's car. car. Yeah. So. I don't care if it's a smoker's car. I will smoke in that car. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like, Anthony, you don't smoke them like oh, I do man. now. I got 150 <laughs> bucks on the line. <laughs> so, but these are the rules. It should be pretty fun. Um, Dan the man, so uh, about it's this. It's gonna Selfish be. Title? It, it's gonna be really huh? exciting. Title. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. Yeah. Title doesn't matter, doesn't matter uh, as Gabe's, long as it's Gabe's got hopping one. in here. He wants to say some things. <laughs> so, okay. This. Can I get closer to you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> as of today, <laughs> fellas. Today, I'll see you it may... when I actually have money on the so, table. So, so the way it's gonna go, right? Because we're going you guys are gonna buy the cars. You either have to do a bill of sale, or you have to get go look at the car and then get a clear check. But mm. needless to say, today's a go day. So if you want to buy a car I, I, today, have money on the table. You so can, can buy a this. car today. Okay. So I just so want to make this clear. Looking. Today is go day. So I mean. You could take Juan with you to go look at a car. I don't think I will help time. you buy a car, dude. I'm and Juan will help you buy a car. Juan he, used to sell cars back in the Juan day. Juan was telling us a story last Friday about a Mercedes that he just picked up because he's the man <laughs> with the dealership. So all I'm saying is it's no day. All right. 
So, that's noted. The competition all, does not start until all three of us have purchased The competition started like two weeks ago. I it still did. haven't seen any money. We weren't able to find anything. We don't have any money. <laughs> now we don't have we money do, to pay for now, it. Now we are like, going to be able to buy a car if I don't have cash yeah. on me. <laughs> so, if you guys have any suggestions of cars that you find that are close-ish to mm -hmm. us that we can make work, we're definitely open to it. But, once again, these things go fast. So. Yeah. The dynamic changes of very quickly around here. Yeah. Juan, thank you for joining us on the panel. I'm sorry we my didn't get you being quiet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you didn't get to talk as much, but that's okay. We got nah, a whole series right. coming up yeah, out here do. very shortly mm -hmm. yep. where you will get to talk a plenty, and we'll make sure oh, the audience hear a lot gets more it too. <laughs> so thank you, G Davis, <laughs> with the upgraded toilet and claw foot tub. What a all right, <laughs> we got it. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna fit in that tiny bed, but someone will try yeah. okay that's it guys thank you so much for listening thank you so much for watching we'll report more as yeah, more happens we'll but right now it's just tentatively in the air we don't know when the first car might get purchased it's it's gonna be cool though it's gonna be fun please tell all your friends that we're doing this yeah. we want to get this rolling we want to have some fun with it and tell people about trc rex because obviously a lot has been done there too and those videos will be coming out including one this week i believe i think so we're dry yeah. ice blasting is happening so be on the lookout for that on wednesday all right, for real this time, we'll see you guys later. See you Thursday. See ya. Bye.